So your friend asks you for a favor and gives you 5 bucks asking to buy something to eat, something to drink, something to feed his cow with, and something to plant in his garden. At the same time, you're allowed to buy just one thing. What are you going to buy? You can go and buy a watermelon. You can eat it, you can drink it, you can feed the cow with the rinds, and as for the watermelon seeds, you can easily plant them in the garden. An egg has to fall 100 feet, but you can't let it break. You can't slow down its fall or cushion its landing. How can you do it? Drop the egg from a height greater than 100 feet, and it won't break for the first 100 feet. <laughs> Cracks me up. Let's imagine you don't know what an elephant looks like. One day, you're going on a safari to watch animals with your friends. One of them points at a rhino and tells you it's an elephant. The other shows you a hippo and claims that it's an elephant. Who will you believe and why? The task was to imagine that you didn't know what an elephant looked like, not that you didn't know what a hippo and a rhino are. It means you won't believe either of your friends. It's fitness day at school, and all the children ran the same distance. Each kid was ranked according to his or her own unique result. Billy turned out to be both the 50th fastest and the 50th slowest runner. How many kids are there at Billy's school? Even though 100 sounds like a clear-cut answer, it's actually 99. Billy is the 50th in the sequence from 1 to 50 of the fastest runners. If he's the 50th slowest, there has to be 99 runners ranked from 50 to 99. Mrs. Smith went to the police claiming that her vintage necklace was missing. The woman was upset. When the police arrived, they saw no signs of a break-in. No messed up locks, no misplaced doors. Only one window was broken. There was a total mess inside the house and dirty footprints all over the floor. Surprisingly, the next day, Mrs. Smith was arrested for fraud. Why? The police were sure that Mrs. Smith lied to them because the window was broken from the inside. If it had been broken from the outside, little pieces of glass would have been on the room's floor. You've been captured and kept in jail for several months. One day, you manage to open your cell and get out into the hall. There are three exits. A huge, vicious-looking man guards one of them. The second has angry dogs. And in front of the third exit, there's a timer ticking down to an explosion in 5 minutes. Which exit will you choose? Wait until the explosion is over and get out through the third exit. Bill and Joe have had an argument about human body capabilities and made a deal. Bill would go to Antarctica and Joe would travel to the Sahara Desert where they'll both try to survive for three days without any shelter and clothes, but with plenty of food and water. Who has the better chances of survival? It's Joe. In Antarctica, the temperatures are freezing all the time, and without any cover, Bill would become an icicle in less than a day. In the Sahara, on the other hand, the extreme heat might cause blisters and even heat stroke, but only in the day. It's rather cool there at night, and water will help Joe fight any dehydration. James escaped from prison and ran for the countryside. Suddenly, on a small, deserted road, he saw a police car heading right at him. James ran toward the car for some time, then turned and rushed into the woods. Why did he run toward the car first?
James was in the middle of a bridge when he saw the car. He had to run toward the vehicle to get off the bridge. Newlyweds left for their honeymoon and asked their neighbor to look after their house. When they returned, the woman found out that she'd lost all her expensive jewelry because of a power outage. The woman had hidden her jewelry in a supposedly safe place. The house wasn't robbed. The neighbor was an honest person. The jewelry got lost on accident. What happened? The wife hid her jewelry in the freezer in a bag with frozen food. After the power failure, all the food spoiled. The kind-hearted neighbor decided to help and threw away all the bad food together with the jewelry. On a sunny, windless day, a ship was in the harbor. There were many people on the shore looking at the vessel. Suddenly, the ship started to sink fast. There was nothing wrong with it, there was no storm, and the skies were blue. And yet, the ship went down in front of the spectators. What happened? Nothing unexpected. The submarine's captain just ordered the crew to dive. You're playing ping pong when your last ball falls into a one-foot-deep narrow metal pipe embedded in the concrete floor. How can you get the ball out of the pipe if all you have is your paddle, a bottle of water, and your shoelaces? Pour the water from your bottle into the hole, and the ball will rise to the surface. Oh, and use your shoelaces to keep your shoes on. It took seven years to build the world's tallest skyscraper. Every year, the builders managed to double its height. How many years did it take the skyscraper to reach half its maximum height? Six years. If the constructors doubled the building's height every year, the skyscraper had to be half its final height a year before it was completed. There's a low railroad bridge in your town with a car tunnel under it. One day, you see a large truck sitting right in front of the tunnel and a confused driver walking around. You come up to him and ask what happened. It turned out that the truck is just a couple of inches taller than the allowed height. So, if he drives inside, the truck will get stuck. Unfortunately, that's the only way to the driver's destination. How can he get through the tunnel? He has to let the air out of the tires. It'll make the truck lower. Lucy could only use a public telephone to make calls. One day, the phone broke. She informed the phone company, but they did nothing. The next day, she came there again and said something. The day after that, the phone was fixed. What did Lucy say? She said that people were making calls without paying. A family lived in a round hut. There were five people a mother, a father, and their three sons. When the father came home one day, he discovered that his computer was broken. The mother was away. Mark, the oldest kid, said he was doing his homework. Jack, the middle kid, swore he was drawing. And Tom, the youngest, told father that mom had punished him and so he was standing in a corner. Who broke the computer? It was Tom, of course. A round house doesn't have any corners. There is a one-mile-long bridge, which can only hold 5,000 pounds at one time. That's exactly the weight of the truck that's crossing it. The truck reaches the middle of the bridge and stops. Suddenly, a bird lands on the truck. Is the bridge going to collapse?
The bridge isn't going to break down because the truck has already used some gas to get to the middle and therefore weighs less than 5,000 pounds. You agreed to take part in a reality show, but it turned out to be a trap from a crazed lunatic. He tells you to dive into one of four tanks. The first one is swarming with venomous snakes. The second is filled with corrosive acid. Electric eels are swimming in the third one. And the fourth tank is filled with bacteria-infested water. In which tank will you have more chances of survival? Choose the tank with the bacteria. First of all, not all bacteria are harmful. And secondly, not all of them are contagious. Good luck with that! Mark got himself a new book to read. The plot was so exciting that he couldn't stop and kept reading the story until late at night. He didn't turn on the lights when it was pitch dark and there was no one to do it for him. But he still managed to read the book till the end that night. How is that possible? Mark was blind and was reading a book written in Braille. Or he could have just had an ebook. Hey, why not? Wow, you'll have five seconds for each of the illusions. Get ready for your mind to be bent. Can you tell which of the two yellow lines is longer? Seems obvious to me. Oh wow, I was wrong. None of them is longer. They are exactly the same length. This is a Ponzo illusion, not a Ponzi scheme. Your brain judges an object's size based on its background. Here, your brain decides the upper line that's further away has to be longer to catch up with the line that's closer. Here's another one for you. Do you think these lines are parallel to each other? Yep, they perfectly are. Again, your brain judges them based on their surroundings. All those short intersecting lines make you believe the longer lines are messed up. What about the red lines in this image? Are they straight or curved? This is the herring illusion. The seemingly curved lines are perfectly straight and parallel to each other. The background makes you think otherwise. How many colors can you see here? Did you get red, purple, and green? In that case, you're all wrong. If you zoom in on this illustration, you can see all the spheres are of the same color. The stripes in the foreground make you believe the spheres are of different colors, too. If you remove that foreground from the image, you'll see all the spheres are beige. Welcome to Ames Room. Nothing is impossible here. Which of these two people do you think is larger? An Ames room only seems to be a normal rectangular construction. It has slanted walls and an inclining ceiling and floor. The right corner is closer to you than the left corner. Your brain is used to rectangular rooms, so it corrects the image for you. The room seems normal, and the people inside seem weird. How many prongs do you think this trident has? The correct number is 3. Nah, just kidding. That would be too obvious. The empty space between the prisms forms the central prong. Take a closer look at the top of the prongs. There are just two openings. Can you tell what animal is hiding here? The secret here is to shake your head back and forth. Or you can zoom out on the image. When you see the tiny version of it, it's obvious there's a cat hiding behind all those lines. Now, focus on one point of this image for at least 15 seconds. Don't think of anything else, just keep looking. Can you see the image disappearing? It happens because the neurons in your brain filter information. They decide what's essential and what's useless. When you focus on one point, your brain receives no new information. Your peripheral vision takes new data from the surrounding white background and adapts the graphic to it. Here's the next illusion for you.
can you tell if the circles are moving or standing still? This image isn't animated. It's an example of a peripheral drift illusion that makes you see still images as moving ones. When you stare at one part of the image without blinking, that part stops moving. Can you count all the black dots in this image? Three, four, six? There are 12 of them, but you can't see them all at once. That's because your peripheral vision fails you at tasks like this. What do you see in this image? If you're sure there are some lines and a light blue circle in the middle, you're wrong. The background is entirely white. You see the non-existent light blue circle because your brain adds color into the bare negative spaces. What about this one? What colors are these funky shapes? Just like in the previous illusion, they're all empty and white. That's a watercolor illusion. Your brain fills in the shape that has a bright line and a darker line at its borders with a brighter color. Now, can you tell if this image is 3D? It's perfectly flat. The white shade in the middle creates the bulge effect. If you move closer, you'll notice it spread its luminance. The task here is simple. Follow this spiral from the beginning to the end. Gotcha! You can't do it, because this spiral isn't a spiral. It's made up of concentric circles. Your brain fills in the gaps for you, because it's confused by this crazy background. Can you tell which rectangles are darker? Believe it or not, the rectangles under columns A and B are the exact same color. The surrounding black and white bars make you believe column A is way darker. Can you find the right shadow for this fun couple? No, it's this one. Only one of the locks is unlocked. Can you spot it in 5 seconds? Good job! This drawing is missing one piece. Pick the right one out of the three possible options. Well done! There's a little mouse hiding somewhere between the mushrooms. Your task is to find it. There it is, cute little thing. One of these jellyfish can't swim because it's an air balloon. Can you see it? Well, it does look a lot like a jellyfish. What's that chirping? All birds but one are having a chat. One of them doesn't speak their language. It's a snail right here. I'd love to have some coffee. Please help me find it. Yay, it was hiding here all the time. All penguins look alike, but one is more special than the others. Can you spot it? This little guy right here has slightly different eyes. Let's take it one level up. Can you find the odd one out here? You could be a detective with your sharp eyes. One of these plants is slightly different from the others. You have 5 seconds to find it. Here it is. All these moons must produce a lot of light. Pick the odd one out. I knew it. How about a little safari? The zebra on the right is different from its pal on the left in five ways. Can you name them all? I only found three differences. Oh, now I see. How about these lions? Again, there are five not-so-obvious differences between them. Did you get them all? What about these antelopes? Oh, 
no, I didn't see the red nose. What a beautiful and peaceful landscape. It's different from the one on the left in five ways. Name them all. Well done! Here are two scenes from a busy city life for you. The task remains the same. I only managed to find three differences here. Let's go see some waterfalls. Something is wrong with the second image. I got it! What about you? The fall is my favorite season. Can you notice five ways these pictures don't match? Fantastic! It's beach time, but you can't relax until you find five differences here. Well, enjoy your well-deserved rest. All right, enough. Moving on. What you see in the next images can tell a lot about your personality. Let's start with this one. If it's a woman reading a book to you, you're a practical and goal-oriented person. You work a lot. You're great at planning and know how to keep your emotions under control. Those who notice Salvador Dali's face, first of all, are artists at heart. Even if your job doesn't have to do with creativity, you find your own ways to express yourself through drawing, writing, or music. If you noticed an armchair first, you never look for easy and obvious solutions in your life. You always surprise everyone else with your unique vision of the world. How about this one? What do you see here? If they're women with umbrellas to you, you've plenty of friends because you're open-minded and mix with new people easily. You enjoy spending time surrounded by others and share everything with them. If it's a sad man's face to you, you're wise beyond your years. Sometimes you need to stop and think about life. At these moments, you prefer to be alone. You don't have that many friends, but you're loyal and always ready to help them. Alright, what can you say about this image? If it's a man sitting down by the water to you, you must be smart and careful with what you do and what you say. You always think twice before making an important decision and rarely regret anything you've done. If you see a face here, you're more emotional than rational. You'll always pick a new and unknown path and never think for too long when you have to make a decision. It's easy to make you cry or smile, but you get over things quickly as well. Here's another illusion for you. If it looks like a couple of playful squirrels to you, you must be a natural explorer. You don't feel happy staying in one place and are always the first to try new things and visit new places. You're active, charismatic, and fun to be around. If you clearly see a woman's face here, you prefer to stick to the plan and don't like surprises. You're a natural leader and great at delegating tasks to others. They respect you and follow your lead. What about this one? If it looks like a lifeless forested area to you, you're most likely better at sciences than at arts. You can fix any gadget or at least carefully follow the instructions to one of those. Your mind is a well-organized chamber. If you instantly saw animals here, you must be into arts and creativity. You don't even know manuals exist. You like to live in the moment and always listen to your heart. 